Oh my God, there's a diamond back. Look. Oh my God. All right guys, so it's the day after finding those indigos and uh, I'm gonna do some tin flipping. It was raining all morning, but it's 63 out now. Finally some nice weather in South Georgia. We got Matt right here taking class in the car. That's why I missed the indigos yesterday. That's why he missed the indigos yesterday. So this time he's uh, he's not messing around. He's coming with, uh, even if he has to stay in the car, he'll be there if I find something cool today. So uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so we just got permission to flip around this barn. So uh, I'm gonna check out some of this tin real quick. See if there's anything under it. Oh, corn snake, check it out. Big corn. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. That's massive. Here, I'll grab the tin. I got it. <laughs> Check that out. It's a beautiful corn. for days, baby. Yeah, we got all this right here. And I'm currently useless because I got a little friend. There's uh, like five in there. What? I think there's like five there in that stack. like there's been king snakes all over this too. All right, we went through the rest of this tin in slides because this guy's a freaking moron. <laughs> but uh, found a little green anole, not very green green anole because it's pretty cold. We'll let this guy go in his tin stack over here. <laughs> Come on, there we go. That's some snake food right there. And then you guys saw this, but I'll give you a closer look. Beautiful big corn snake. Look at that. Look at the belly. The belly is the real kind of cool part. Yeah, look at that belly. That's that's beautiful. Very nice. All right. Well, we're probably gonna let this guy go, and uh, we'll take some pictures and then let him go and keep hiking. Very cool. What a photogenic specimen. Look at that. Perfectly coiled for us. That field guide shot. That's pretty. Damn, nice shot, dude. Nice, Matt. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and uh, keep going. Yeah. All right. Hey, buddy. I love that yellow and orange on him. Not a bad looking snake for sure. Checkers, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna weave back to a spot. Can you grab the hook for me? I got both hooks. No, there's a hook right there. I know. I'm, uh, do you know where the other is? Nope. Exactly. I got the other one too. <laughs> he was under this middle one. Yeah. Alright, buddy. There you go. Cool. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm listening. If he what? Yeah. Oh my God, there's a diamond back. I literally put my fingers in front of it. It's under this carpet, dude. Look. Oh my God. Look at that f***ing diamond back. So pretty. My camera. 
Holy dude. I'm gonna stop recording on this. Holy I just put my fingers right in front of this guy. I was wearing gloves and it's a young rattlesnake, but a little too close. I just didn't expect anything in the freaking carpet. Hell yeah, dude. Hell freaking yeah. Oh my god. I got it live on the GoPro too. We're gonna have to reconstruct this for this little guy. Yeah. Wow. This week just got so good. Indigos yesterday, diamondback and corn snake today. I'm literally shaking. This little guy is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna pull him out eventually, I think, just to get some better shots. This is Matt's lifer. And then we'll reconstruct his little piece of garbage home and flip through the rest of this stuff. Hell yeah. I'm gonna attempt to uh, Oh my god, he's gorgeous. Small one. Find a good place to put him. We're not keeping the snake, by the way, <laughs> as it might look like. We're just finding a place to photograph him. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just keep an eye on him. We're going to move our stuff back to the car. Freaking beautiful snake. The yellow doesn't even come out on camera, it, but it's incredible. It's the best looking diamond back I've ever found, honestly. I've only other, found other two others, but I can't even speak. <laughs> I always trip up my words when I get excited. But Matt, thoughts on your uh, on your lifer Eastern Diamondback? He's a West Coast guy, so he's seen the Western Diamondback. Well, if they all look like this, I'd say East Coast takes it. East Coast takes it. You heard it here, baby. <laughs> what an impressive little snake. That's absolutely gorgeous. Because you only got two little buttons. Wow. So uh, we're going to let this little guy go. It's a feisty little... Guy. We're gonna put him back in his trash pile. He's been striking <laughs> quite a bit, but he's uh, he's little, so luckily the striking range isn't too big. Honestly, the the really big Diamondbacks sketch me out a little bit because they're so alert. This guy is, you know, bigger than pygmy size. I want to make sure he goes in there so that when we flip the rest of the stuff here, <laughs> we don't risk stepping on him on the way out. It's a little piece of tin. Yeah, Matt's still over there photographing that gorgeous little rattlesnake. Dude, there's some good cover here, even though it's all kind of junk. There's some good garbage. There's a great looking pile of rubber right here. I'm gonna guess it's gonna have a king in it or something. See what's sometimes stuff's inside these things. See anything? No. Alright, let's try to move back. I'm just kind of fold it up. Yeah, this is one of those pieces of cover that never goes back the way it's supposed to. Not supposed to, but the way it's sat. But if we weigh it down with some of this stuff, it could be good again over time. Yeah, this is what I saw on Google Maps to stop for. Let that little 
the diamond back under that garbage be a lesson to you, Matt, and you folks at home listening. You gotta flip everything. Flip everything, expect the unexpected. This sort of plastic siding is real good for kings because it's nice and light. There's some good stuff here, dude. This layered stuff on top. I'm excited for. Looks like it might have a fire ant's nest under it, but it's a... Damn, that looks so good. Between two layers of tin, is it recording? Yeah, it's going. Oh, that's a big Between one. Between two layers Bigger of tin. Bigger one, I guess. No, this is still a small diamond back. Yeah, I know. But nevertheless, <laughs> another freaking diamond back. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. Oh my God. And we still haven't gotten under this piece. It's pretty. It's another beautiful one. All right, so we're gonna give this guy the scoot because between layers, this guy also has one or two buttons. So he's, um, could be from the same, whoa. Another diamond back. Eastern diamond back rattlesnake, a gorgeous, gorgeous little one. So beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at those kind of aberrant, not really aberrant, but slightly aberrant bands on the back. This one is just as pretty as the last. So gorgeous. Matt, Diamondback number two, thoughts? Just as pretty as the first one. Very nice. Whoa. Let me know when you're done with this. See how I like the uh We've got a less cooperative diamond back and a freaking cat that I can't scale. Go. Go. Go away, cat. <laughs> Curiosity would kill the cat in this case. Just stepped in a fire ant now, that's always nice. Alright, anyway, we're gonna try to photograph this guy. Go away, cat. Right back in his home. Oh. All right, stellar, unbelievable. We're gonna keep flipping. A side note, people, leave your cats indoors because say that cat finds that diamond back, it's gonna be bad news for both parties. Um, and feral or outdoor cats account for huge amounts of biodiversity loss. So, uh, so just keep them indoors if you can. Slimy salamander under this tarp. He's wild though. Between these two boards, there's a double slimy flip. Slimy salamander, it's pretty cool. Nice. So this is taking up way more time than we want it to. <laughs> this is so annoying, the train isn't even moving. I think we're gonna have to try to find a way around this if possible. Probably is gonna make someone not very happy if they run into us, though.
All right, just flip two skinks. They're kind of just brumating under here. Look at that one's got some nice blue in its tail. Cool. Put this back down for him. Gently. Nice. All right, guys, so a uh, pretty fantastic day out there. I'm ecstatic that we got to see two Diamondbacks pretty much at the same flip site, um, just a little bit far from each other, but they could have even been siblings. Um, we missed out on a king today. I was kind of expecting one of those once we once we found a corn and, and the Diamondbacks. Um, but either way, fantastic day. I'm extremely excited um, about that. Tomorrow, uh, Noah is coming down to hang out with us. So that's gonna be the next video, is a full day of tin flipping with NKF herping, the NKF herping. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.